the Lions coming off the bye. The Red Blacks last game prior to a break. First meeting, BC and Ottawa. Lions swept the Renegades eight consecutive wins. Back in that era of Ottawa football, Jamil Smith on the return. Well, can this offense get revved up? Henry Burris yet to throw a touchdown pass at home. Looking for one out of the gate for Matt Carter. And incomplete. Siobhan Walker in the backfield. He's released. Burris looking downfield. And Marcus Henry has the catch. And Maher puts it through. Red Black strike first. The lone Canadian, strong side linebacker, the lead pressure, Lule drop back inside the 40-yard line. Jonathan Williams gets home. Corey Brandon looked like he was nicked, but stays in. Missed a block, and Lule was in trouble. Got it away to Harris, but he is dropped. Good field position start, play action. Burris going to load it up, but he's short on the throw. Intercepted. Dante Marsh has his 30th career interception and a good return back into Ottawa territory. Now the usually strong-armed Henry Burris comes up short. It was almost like Burris lost the handle here. That one was quacking. Four receivers near side. Lule looking that way. Open man. And it's up for grabs and incomplete. Nearly intercepted from 49 yards out. And the old pro has done it again. Tie game. Trying to find some weapons. Three catches against Montreal. A first down. A little fake inside. Trouble for Burris. Gets away. And the crosser to Wallace Miles. Maher's going to try it. Hasn't made one from beyond 40. With Tim Brown in the end zone. Since the last win. And now they move into an offensive formation. Alex Carter steps back. Throws complete. The ball. First down. Tim Brown moved up to make the tackle. For the fans on their feet. For the gadget on a fake field goal. First and goal. Red Blacks. At the nine, flag down, open man, another drop. Second and goal, drops it off, Walker's got it, and drops the football on the goal line, knocked out by J.R. LaRose, and the Lions have forced the turnover. An 11 play drive, stopped by a fumble on the BC one. And off to Harris in the end zone, doesn't get out. It'll be a safety. And the defense steps up. And they'll get it back. Four receivers this side. Pressure off the edge. Lule gets outside. And he will take off. And he'll run for a first down. It's still going. Down to the 40-yard line. So there's the Travis Lule run that might help get the rhythm going. Hear this from 34 out in the halftime lead for the BC Lions. And McCallum just doesn't miss. See if they can build off that last series of the half. To give inside to Andrew Harris. Nothing doing. Schmidt looking for the corner with a blast that's going to go into the end zone. And this is going to be a long single. Lule surrounded. He'll be dropped back at the 39. They get to him. Brandon Lang. On the board. Excuse me. A lot of tackles for losses. There's, There's another sack, sack on cue. Bazzi and Kareem Smith get there. Steady diet of second and long for the Red Blacks in this third quarter. Burris throws, oh, what a catch! Oh, 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 oh. Marcus Henry with a terrific catch. It's going to be short of the first down, but he <laughs> might have just turned the spot on Sports Center. Oh, yeah. What a catch. Henry Burris put some heat on this one. A one handed stab of a heater. Wow. He's had a, played a big game tonight and has studied a lot of Solomon Elamimian tape to learn how to be a Canadian Football League middle linebacker. A little toss to Arsenault who reverses field. Anything there? No. Oh, he got away from today, but 
Going in reverse, and Brandon Riggs has enough of that. And Riggs had quite a game at defensive end tonight. Little shovel inside, nothing doing. And the pass is caught. It's a first down. Just a little pressure on Daniel Bryan right now in this in these conditions to put this on the tee properly. From 32 yards out for the lead. Went six for six in the win against Toronto. Yep. And trouble. And now they got to throw it. And it's going to be incomplete. So there are the conditions again. First and 15 for the Lions. Back at their 31-yard line. Here comes pressure. Lulay ducks underneath and gets oh, away. Man. And ends up with positive yards, but it looked like he'd be dropped for a loss. And Lule down the field for Manny Arsenault. Big catch. And a connection to the dangerous Arsenault for a first down into red-black territory. Here comes the heat again. Lule steps up and delivers again. First down. And Lule dropped the football. Kirby Fabian, I think, got back on it. Is Lule hurt? Travis Lule has been shaken up. So a combination of things, the most important, Lule's been uh -oh. injured. And is it that shoulder again? Well, let, let's take a look. First of all, did he get hit as the ball comes out? No, actually, he just lost it. And as he's going to scramble to get to it, that's when he rolls on the shoulder. Another look at it. Spins the ball to try and get the lace. And you can see he's in some pain right there where he's rolling on Clearly that shoulder. Clearly favoring the yeah. right shoulder. Off-season surgery. And it looks like that right shoulder has been damaged once again. And this is tough to see for the BC Lions and for the Canadian Football League. Uh, no question. With their number one guy back, it would look like it's going to have to be Kevin Glenn once again. Mike Benavides will take the win, but it was a costly one and not very impressive either. The Lions will hand Ottawa their seventh consecutive loss.